Sarah and today we cook cauliflower cheese, not too flavoured, and we're doing that vegan style. <laughs> this cauliflower cheese has no oil, no nuts, and no soy, so it's quite a good one if you're allergic to certain things. It is spicy, but you can always take the spice level down. Quarter of a cup of oat flour. To make this, just put just over a quarter of a cup of rolled oats into your blender and process until fine. One to one and a half cups of rice or oat milk. Quarter of a cup of nutritional yeast flakes. Optional, but it makes it taste ooh, so good. One teaspoon of miso paste. Quarter of a teaspoon each of mustard powder and turmeric powder. Half a teaspoon of garlic powder. One teaspoon of onion flakes. Smoked paprika to taste. Half a cauliflower washed and cut up into chunks. One spring onion or green onion sliced and just Take the green part separate to the side because that's going to go on the top at the end. One jalapeno pepper, finely diced. One Roma tomato, diced. Chopped coriander, completely optional, salt and pepper to taste. Going to make the topping first, so we're going to put the green part of our spring onion or green onion into a bowl. Put about a third of the jalapeno chilli or pepper. Do about half the tomato. Coriander. Just leave a tiny bit of coriander left. And then you're just going to gently mix that through. Now you could put some lemon juice in this if you want. I'm not going to just because it's going to sit on top of the cauliflower cheese and I don't want it to be too soggy. Place the cauliflower into a saucepan with a colander or a steamer. You need to add some water. Just a little bit to steam. You obviously don't want it to dry out. I'm going to put that on the stove, bring it to the boil and steam for no more than five minutes. For the nacho sauce, combine oat flour and rice milk in a saucepan over medium-high heat. Stir to combine. Bring to boil and stir until thickened. Add miso paste and whisk through. Add mustard powder, turmeric, smoked paprika, garlic powder, onion flakes and yeast flakes Stir until combined. Add fresh tomatoes, spring onions, jalapeno and stir to combine. Add pepper and salt to taste. Arrange steamed cauliflower in a casserole dish topped with sauce. You can either eat as is or bake in an oven at 220 degrees Celsius for 5 to 10 minutes. Sprinkle with smoked paprika, coriander and the salsa you prepared earlier. That's beautiful. Thanks for watching. I certainly love this recipe. Cauliflower cheese, nachos, together. Yum. Two of my favourite foods in one little casserole. And it's totally healthy with this one. It's really fantastic. Certainly recommend that you give it a go. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you again next week. Bye.